Hey there everyone, Atesh here, back again with another video, and this video is about DigitalOcean. And no, this video is not even tiny bit sponsored, even DigitalOcean doesn't know that I'm making this video, because it's not really very friendly to them, it's a little bit less friendly to them. Now, we have been using DigitalOcean for a while, in a lot of our production environment, and you talk about the development environment and testing ground, oh boy, we use DigitalOcean a lot. Not only that, I have used DigitalOcean in a lot of my courses, in the online boot camps, in the live classes, offline classes. We have used it heavily and it's such a great service and so much ease to work for the developers that we kind of have become a fan at one point of time. Yeah, that's the story, that one point of time. Now, in the recent uh, couple of months, we have been facing a lot of issues uh, with the DigitalOcean and I thought, let's make this information public because I have used them in a lot of courses and I think everybody should know that. So a lot of our accounts, not just mine, a lot of our team accounts are not able to pay on the DigitalOcean. I think there is something that is super wrong with the DigitalOcean that how this is going on. And I think DigitalOcean should do something about it because it's such a fantastic service and these small minor things get so much of our trouble that we can just work forward in the direction up here. So let me show you on my screen that what the problem is with the DigitalOcean as we are facing right now. So this is one of our account where we test a lot of things before we put it in the public or we put it into the tutorials. We actually love to test them out in the production itself. So notice here it says your account has been suspended and the droplet has been powered down. So sad. Uh, please power on the droplets once you have paid the bills. Okay, we would love to pay it. Now the amount it's saying is just mere $14 which we have to pay for our testing grounds but there is no submit pay button. In fact, you might be wondering, okay, this card probably is not working which is ending with some number. Uh, let's just add another card. So, okay, let's go ahead and add another card. Okay, there is just card holder name so let me put up my name. Maybe more field will pop up later on so we're gonna go up here. I put up my name which I'm pretty sure is correct and I'm gonna add the same billing address up here and save the card and voila. It doesn't work. So how should I suppose to pay my bill if the card is not working? And in case you're wondering, yes, we tried with the PayPal and everything, it's not working. So there is something seriously wrong that we are not able to pay our bills. And this is not the trouble that only I am facing. We are facing this trouble in a lot of accounts of DigitalOcean. So we are not able to pay our bills. Uh, the cards are not being accepted. There is no alternate payment uh, methods for the India. No UPIs, no net banking, uh, no domestic cards are available. What should I do? What should I do? Definitely the only option is to move away from the digital ocean and uh, this should be known by everyone so that you can also take your decision before moving anything into the production on digital ocean. You might also face this situation. Let me know in the comment section if you are facing this situation and if anybody from digital ocean is watching this, I would love to talk to you to figure out how we can solve this uh, issue uh, permanently or what your team is doing to solve this or we have to move. So that's it for this video, really, really a short video, informational video to show you that what it is happening so that you can take better decision about choosing your hosting provider. That's it for this video, we'll surely catch you up in the next one.